Well, now it's time for our weekly segment, Meet the Boss. This time, we've had the chance of sharing some time with Lars Sorensen, president and CEO of Nova Nordisk. The Danish company is doing so well that they've actually raised their outlook significantly. We asked Sorensen what's been driving growth for their company. The main part of our business is in diabetes, and diabetes is an escalating problem, as you know. So we are in the, excuse me, the expression, the sweet spot uh, of the pharmaceutical industry at the moment, enjoying growth rates which are twice of that of the pharmaceutical industry on average. Interesting you say that what is keeping your business outlook so positive is an epidemic in diabetes. What We've got something like 250 million sufferers worldwide. Yes. What's yes. behind the surge in diabetes? Well, the largest part of that growth comes from a change in, in lifestyle, from urbanization all over the world, people moving into the cities, adopt a more sedentary lifestyle, change their eating behaviors, uh, become obese and eventually expand the risk of getting chronic disease and diabetes. And Lars, what lessons do you take away from that in your own life? Uh, are you and your family careful about what you eat and drink? Yeah, I think when you look at Western countries, uh, well-educated individuals, individuals with, with resources, uh, tends to pay more attention to, to their health. Of course, personally uh, understanding uh, the risks of diabetes uh, I take good care of myself and try to avoid getting diabetes uh, myself and you actually ride your bike to and from work every day 10 miles each way yes is that's that difficult that. that's not <laughs> oh lot. that's nothing that's nothing for you <laughs> now I wanted to ask you about your company's new drug Victosa it was approved by US regulators in January and it's already gained a 27 percent market share tell me more about this drug and what it could mean for diabetes sufferers we believe that um, treatment with Victoza and with GLP-1 products in general uh, could mean a, a transformation of treatment of type 2 diabetes because this is the most powerful medication for treatment of early type 2 diabetes. It lowers the blood sugar, lowers the weight, lowers the blood pressure, all the good things we would like to see in a type 2 patient. And in fact, uh, we are right now uh, in the process of starting trial to investigate the products used in pre-diabetes in a way preventing diabetes from occurring with very obese individuals. So it, it's, a, it's potentially a transforming drug for the company. Is there a danger at all that, that people might perceive this drug to be a miracle cure? Of course there is, because there is no such things as a miracle cures. You have to be very careful when using uh, pharmacological intervention and uh, just slim, slight overweight is of course not what we're aiming at. We're aiming at, at treating people that are very uh, s severely overweight and have risk factors of developing mm -hmm. diabetes or uh, cardiovascular disease. There we may be able to use this product as well. So with that in mind, how close are we to finding a cure for diabetes? I used to say that I, I would hope that our company could find the cure in my time. And I've been now 10 years in my job. I have another five, six years to go. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll be in my time. We're talking 15, 20 years into the future. In emerging markets, of course, have been seeing an explosion of diabetes cases as the rates of obesity rise. Your company's been generating ever more sales there. How will this change the way the company does business in the coming years? We have very early on been involved in building up our business in China, in India, and in Brazil. And uh, we think it's, a, it's an exciting development. We've seen that development much before many other companies have. And uh, we believe that we will have a very, very bright future for the company. Unfortunately, based on this epidemic, but nonetheless, a bright future. And Lars, if we look at where it all started off for you, you began your career in forestry management. So yes. <laughs> yes. perhaps a little bit different from the pharmaceutical industry. It's but, long term anyway. But when did you when did you realize you'd made a mistake? Well, I didn't make a mistake. I think it was a fascinating uh, education, something about biology, something about economy and technology, uh, and uh, long term thinking. And long term thinking is what Novo Nordisk is about. Long term thinking is what changing diabetes is all about because we have to change our lifestyles. That's the only way to curb uh, diabetes but in the meantime, we can treat it.